up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and we all hear about those daily morning routines that keep us set up for success, but what about those nighttime routines, right? The habits that we engage in before bedtime can have a huge impact on both the quality and the quantity of our rest, so it's important to be consistent with those as well. So today, I'm going to share some of my best bedtime habits I engage in most every night to get a good night's rest and feel refreshed the next day. And all items I mentioned today can be found down below in the description box and y'all know I want to hear from you so let me know some of the things you're doing at bedtime that are working for you also make sure that you text me at my free text community and join so you can stay up on any lives master classes or other special things I have coming up if you're enjoying the content I would love to hear from you so make sure you click like comment, share, and subscribe. And that's how our community grows and flourishes. And many of you all are telling me you're not getting your notifications. YouTube is tripping. So do your good sis a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button. Also turn on those notifications so that you know whenever I upload. Y'all, I usually start to try a good winding down around 7 p.m. It doesn't always happen that way, but I try to. And I try to make the night about peace and prosperity. I'm trying to get in listening on my AirPods Mac by Apple y'all these headphones is everything check them out um but definitely I try to get in my last emails as well as those last minute editings but sometimes we go longer but for the most part I try to get away from it and tonight is Sean's night to prepare the meal because we have a little system okay so I love when Bay cooks he cooks amazingly well and he's making tonight some chicken tenderloins which are low in calories and fat and high in protein as well as some green beans and some rosemary fries we're trying to keep our carbohydrates low I mean we are getting married in December we're trying to look good right not only that you sleep better when you're not sleeping on a bunch of carbs and I'm an intermittent faster I stop at a certain time and I don't like for my last meals to be full of carbohydrates so He's mindful of that, and I'm very grateful for that. So we eat good, we talk, we laugh, we catch up on our day. It's just a wonderful time for us to commune and have a nice time together. I look forward to that time, and I think that when you're winding down, it always helps to have someone to talk to, even if it's just on the phone. And because I don't want the next day to be sugar, honey, iced tea, okay? Okay. You know, S-H-I-T. Y'all get it. It's because I don't want that, I try to make sure that I clean up just a little bit and clean up lightly and kind of tidy up so that I don't wake up to things that are in disarray, unclean, the laundry, at least it's clean. It might not be folded, but it's cleaned and make sure the dishwasher is empty so that it's ready to go for the next day. Put away all the dishes and things like that and helps me just feel more productive and better about my day overall. Then I escape to the restroom. Yes, the bathroom time. Time to blaze up a nice, great podcast or something like that that I want to listen to or music. And we have been rocking out with JBL speakers lately and I absolutely love this thing. It is waterproof as well. Clearly mine has soap on it, but whatever. I also like to light a candle i've added some of my favorites down below and i love the dr teal's foaming bath with pure epsom salt just helps you to relax and i work out hard okay i like to make sure that my body gets a little bit of replenishing so when i can get these baths in i get them in honey yes i do all right and i look forward to them doesn't happen every night but for the most part i've been trying to make it happen and the water is lukewarm not hot y'all know i don't do boiling betty over here but I'm making it a nice warm bath and I'm using my Nivea, which is a nourishing and great body wash. It's made with coconut as well. And it just feels so good on the skin. It's so soothing. Remember before bed, you just want to feel calm and soothed. And these are great. And I'm using my African sponge as well, which is amazing for removing or helping to remove those dead skin cells and exfoliating nicely without being super harsh on the skin. 
skin. I also towel blot the skin dry in order to maintain some of the moisture. And I'm gonna be using my Nivea Soft Moisturizing Cream all over my body. I love it because first off, it's inexpensive, but it's also thick and rich. Y'all know I love Eucerin, but this stuff is good as well. I also love my body butters. But I'm also using my almond oil mixture. You all can check out some of my videos from the past where I've made that mixture and shown it to you all. And I love putting that over my body. It coats it so well. And I'm also going to deodorize, honey. Yes, I'm using my native deodorant. And I'm happy that they are bringing you today's video. I love Native for their products. And I've also shared them here so many different times. And they help me to smell great. And it's given me great options. And they've also helped me to switch to more plastic-free packaging for some of their products. I love the classic versions of their native deodorants. They also have a plastic free version of the native deodorant. It's made from paperboard and native is committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forest. It's the same formula with just more sustainable packaging. And native is a proud partner of 1% of the planet and commits 1% of all of their plastic free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. And all of their scents smell fresh and clean. And many of their great scents include lavender and rose, which is my fave, the lilac and white tea, the cucumber and mint, which is becoming a second fave, the coconut and vanilla and eucalyptus and mint. And for me, it's still not sticky. It dries quickly and it's great for when I'm on the go. It's aluminum free, vegan and cruelty free. Now three plastic free deodorants normally are $39, but if you use my link and code babydoll10, you'll get them for $29. That's 25% off. After I finish y'all, I have to make sure that my body scent is set and I'm using the Tokyo Milk Eden. Y'all, I love this stuff and discovered it on Amazon. So check out the link for that. It smells so good and calming. It just gives you everything you need. And then I go into my hair care, treating my hair lightly. I have a protective style, so I'm using the Oyen Frank juice, which has frankincense and myrrh. It helps to help with that scalp and also moisturizing the hair. It also defunctifies it, okay? And I'm also using the black owned sunflower oil. I love this oil, it's amazing. I add it to my hair, it's like a growth oil serum, but I use it for my edges to make sure that they're protected as well as my general scalp and it keeps me from itching as I am a workout girl. And I like to make sure that my hair does not itch, smell, and it also is retaining some moisture. So I I also after that make sure that I tie my hair down with my silk scarf so that I'm all set for when it's time to lay down and go to bed. Then I go into my skincare routine, which y'all know I love. And I love to double wash at night. And it's great to wash your face at night because it helps to repair your skin. So I go in first with my Purity Made Simple, which is a simple and easy, lightly foaming cleanser, as well as the Panoxyl. That's my second wash. And Panoxyl, if you're familiar with it, it's good for the whole body. It is good for acne care. And so with me wearing masks and things of that sort. I like to make sure that I'm taking precautions and Panoxyl gives me what I need. So you can see this one is more of a creamy. They have a creamy and a foaming cleanser. I use or rotate both. Now y'all know I love a good fridge in the bathroom, honey. So this is my Kulini that holds all of my nightly and daily treatments. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Eminent Stone Crop Hydrating Mist as a toner, which is great for dark marks and scars on the skin, as well as the Retinol by True Skin. And I love this stuff because it's great for anti-aging, wrinkles, all of those different things. But you gotta be careful with Retinol. Warning, please read about retinol, okay? Also, I'm using the retinol eye cream by Rock. Been using that stuff forever, just love it. It's like a glorified moisturizer for my eyes. And I'm going for the lips, y'all, with that Fenty Lip Scrub. Love this stuff, so easy to use, and it just makes the surface of the lips feel so soft and supple. And I'm using Renewed Hope in a Jar, the evening cream. Y'all know I use the day cream as well, but this one is the evening cream, and it just goes on really well and helps with anti aging aging and maintaining moisture for aging skin, right? I love that. And then the Laneige sleep mask for the lips, honey. I got this from the beautiful Taj Mahali. Please check out her channel here on YouTube. She's a great esthetician. And yeah, she hooked a girl up. 
that stuff feels amazing. And then I'm having the Grand Lash and the Grand Brow, but I'm using the Grand Lash and the Grand Lash Repair Conditioner on my eyelashes and my brows as well, just to give them a bit of kick. I normally also use black castor oil. So if you can get your hands on that, use that as well. That's been great for me. But I also like to end the night with a little sleepy time tea. I've been making it a habit instead of having a nightcap or some wine because you have horrible dreams when you do that believe it or not sometimes it just depends on who you are but for me I love the sleepy time tea with the chamomile and the lemon it just calms me down and then another thing that I do is I like to go through my to do's for the next day the reason why this is effective is because it really gives you an idea of what's coming the next day so you're not laying in bed contemplating what you're going to have to do and not sleeping so I feel a little bit more comfortable and I'm also able to look through the things that I've written down that I'm grateful for that I'm thankful for, my daily affirmations. This also gives me a little bit more hope for my day. I tend to dream better because I dream vividly, y'all. I dream better when I read these. I feel more energized. I feel more happy about the things I have going on. And I feel like I can sleep easy because I am actually accomplishing things and doing things that are worthwhile for my life. And then I like to hydrate. So I go into the kitchen and I get my water drops and I put those in my water with a little bit of liquid chlorophyll and just have a little bit of that as well to replenish myself and refresh myself. I make sure that Bay has his nightly vitamins. We like to take vitamins at night so that your body replenishes overnight. It repairs and replenishes and I'm taking my vitamins as well to make sure I am good and if I'm dying of hunger, which I am usually not, I'm an intermittent faster, but I like to end my night with a little bit of almonds and just a tip here if you're into almonds and cashews and things like that they have a little bit of melatonin in them which helps you to sleep better and then I go into my serious teeth routine yes I use my Panasonic water flosser y'all that thing is everything and my Sonicare toothbrush and just some basic arm and hammer advanced toothpaste y'all leaves my teeth feeling amazing after the whole process I feel like I've done something good for myself my teeth look good they feel good they you know they just doing the thing and they ain't dusty all right and then I like to pray and meditate this gives me clarity and a peaceful way to end the day I love talking to God Okay, and it gives me a chance to do that before going to bed. I also like to set my alarm and I'm intentional about that. I try to make it for the same time every day, even on the weekends. It just gives you more of a hopeful place to be and also gives you things to expect. I also turn my phone on do not disturb. And then I end my night by reading something that gives me some uplifting motivation. You know, this is one of the things we overlook. Reading soothes you and relaxes you and I fall asleep quickly when I read okay no cliffhangers and no craziness before bed because I can't sleep well so I hope y'all have enjoyed my video on my productive night routine remember that keeping a routine at night is just as important as your morning in fact it fuels your morning it's all a cycle so make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching y'all beautiful brown baby doll peace Check the links in the description for my free new Dr. Nina's Mentorship Facebook group, which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress, grow, and support one another along the way. The Now That's Life podcast is about to go into season two, so I suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms. All descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.